So before I begin, I just want to say, you know, I just want to clear some things up. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a stock investor. Well, I am, but <laughs> I've been investing in stock recently like any normal human. Um, but I am not a financial advisor. I am not a banker. I am not here to give financial advice in this video. I'm just simply here to talk about the rising stock of GameStop. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, everybody knows the news, how it all started with some guy that was, you know, in on Wall Street that he didn't have, that had doubts of, and just said, oh, GameStop was going to be trash, yada, 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 and then everybody just proved him wrong and bought, started buying out the stock, and then Elon Musk went ahead on Twitter and just said, you know, sent out that tweet and everybody just started investing in the stock. Man, a lot of those people are lucky because I sure missed out on that. And I sure wish I could have been able to um, get my hands on some of that. But, you know, it's another time. You know, there's still another chance with other um, stocks that are available. I know AMC is very, you know, is very popular. You know, that people are saying invest in that. Nokia and BlackBerry. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> I know the stock market, you know, a lot of people in the stock market are pissed and they're trying to regulate that so that doesn't happen again. But, you know, that's pretty all, you know, that's a pretty good thing, you know, I think that's good for the business as well. You know, again, I know a lot, they were facing bankruptcy and they were getting rid they were closing a lot of stores. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, this pandemic, it looks like a lot of people got, very, you know, adapted and got pretty smart real fast. And, you know, it, it goes to show how us as humans, we can really adapt to new, newer things and, you know, how we can survive. You know, while going through a pandemic. So, yeah. Um, obviously, you know, it was a short squeeze that happened in the stock market. And, you know, I know they're going to probably try and prevent that from happening ever again. You know, short squeezes. These are really things that really happen. I know in the past, like, Volkswagen had that issue. And then the stock went up. And, like, a lot of people just got, you know, got hella payouts and trades. And were able to sell it. So, yeah. That's good. Um Yeah, um, I, you know, I, it's crazy with GameStop, I, I never really liked, I never really was too fond of the company, you know, because of, you know, the bad practices they've done in the past with, you know, trading in games, buying, and buying used games, um, throwing away games, you know, yeah, I still don't support the practice, and I'm not a big fan of it, and, you know, but I will say, as an adult, um, I've come to learn how to adapt with um, working with GameStop and how to um, do to do things certain ways. And, you know, I, I'll, I'll admit, like, late last year, I, I got a lot of good games, you know, PS3 games for cheap. And, you know, I can't, I can't stress how important it is, like, when last-gen um, games are there because they want to do everything they can to get rid of them. I was actually able to get a, my hands on some Wii games as well because, you know, they really want to get rid of the games, and, you know, I know they're going to throw them away, but, you know, if you're a gaming collector, I'm somewhat of a gaming collector, physical game collector, but I'm slowly going in the direction of digital games because I'm out of a sh I have a shitload of games, and, it's a you know, I have a lot of space, so I can't, <laughs> I can't keep buying these games, so... I have to go digital some way, but yeah, you know, I, you know, good for GameStop. I'm happy for them. So, yeah.